I use my late father's cameras to photograph famous people to help the Royal Marsden Cancer Charity. So please watch, enjoy and subscribe. So here's me at Art College. I was at St. Martin's in London in the late 1970s, early 80s, and I was studying sculpture. And of course, the big name in English sculpture was Henry Moore. And I always remember reading this book a lot while I was a student. I think I was always inspired by what Moore had done with the human figure and uh, something that we were encouraged to explore at the college. Uh, these are some of my <laughs> attempts, which I was told were a little bit phallic. But you can see I was probably inspired by more a bit without realising it. I liked the way he used the big holes and the spaces and the textures. And I guess Henry Moore was sort of the king of sculpture back in the 1950s. But I loved this book. It inspired me a lot. And I particularly liked the drawings that he'd done, which I knew he'd done during the war. He went down in the underground during the Blitz and he drew the sleeping figures, um, which he used as inspiration for a lot of his sculptures. I remember writing to Henry Moore. I didn't really think I'd ever get a reply, so it was great when I got this, complete with original autograph there at the bottom. So I drove in my sister's Mini up to Much Haddam, which is in Hertfordshire, I think, somewhere above London. I didn't really know where I was going. And uh, here's the folder of everything I did that day. So this is a print of Moore's studio here. And that window on the left, uh, he would have his back to that, sit the chair just inside there working. And you can see if this shot I took inside uh, along towards back to the window where his chair is that he used to sit, his padded chair. And of course the place was a treasure trove of his work. And here's his chair and I love the foam tied to the, to the arms, to rest his arms and the back and the bum, everything. There was a little bar heater on the floor. This was his view from that chair. And of course, the amazing thing was to be able to wander around and take photos of these little maquettes and small working models that he made, uh, which most of which I guess became the giant pieces that a lot of us have seen all over the place. So I shot his portrait on mainly on the Rolleiflex, 120 size negatives there. What's this, 35 mil? Ah, this was when more sculptures were put in Hyde Park and people were encouraged to climb all over them. And I went there with a couple of my buddies and we took these photos just messing around, but it was great that people were encouraged to actually sort of participate with the sculptures. My main complaint about sculpture is you're not allowed to touch it in museums. So here's the negatives and you can see how thin they are on the bottom left. Now that's because there's a story I tell in my lectures which is how I managed to trip over my light. I was so nervous and exploded on the floor in front of him. And so what should be lighting up that dark area on the left had already exploded by the time I started photographing. And I thought he was going to just tell me to get lost, bugger off. But um, he was very long suffering. I think he could see that I was really nervous. So I started with one of his pieces of work there. I don't know what that was. And here he is sort of preparing to start drawing. He's got blank paper, uh, very dark down there on the left, but somehow it's okay. Um, cutting out the piece of paper that he was going to draw on. You'll notice he's got three cardigans, I think he had on, and a little bar heater. I think this is him saying, shall I start? <laughs> And I really wanted him to just be natural, but I was so shy and nervous, I don't think, I don't know what I said. But this was the shot where he just sat and looked at me. And actually, I've used this one mostly in most of my exhibitions. This is my favourite. I love the shirt, the collar, the hand holding the charcoal, um, the phone in the background, the cluttered desk. That's my favourite shot. Here he is getting started. And the next five or six, apart from that middle one, are him at work. So he just takes a look at me. Um, I like these two, probably the central two the most. So there you are. Which one do you prefer? And here he is at work, the master at work. And he was, I was aware that he was sort of surrounded by cast off drawings all over the place. I was never had the nerve to ask him if I could have a scrap of something he'd drawn on. Um, and then I came back a bit 
to get the full effect of all this art materials around. I took a few colour because I was always terrified that I didn't have enough stuff. And so I always backed it up on 35mm. And that, these are quite nice. I quite like, that's, that's quite a good study of his face. But all in all, I think I prefer the central one that you can see there. And you can see how thin those negatives were. I saw this as I was leaving. He was obviously writing a book. I look upon drawing as thinking visually in three dimensions, especially if the intention is to set down, capture or record an idea for a possible future sculpture. And over the years, I think I got better at seeing the idea more clearly and completely in my mind's eye as existing in reality. So that was my day when Henry Moore offered to sit for me to help the Royal Marsden Cancer Hospital. Thank you for watching. It's free to subscribe by hitting the red button below and it helps me to help the Royal Marsden Cancer Charity. So please click to conquer cancer. Thank you.